The eruption, which is started in the Reckoness Peninsula of Iceland, after 25 days is over. It just started like this, in a huge, uh, you know, oozing of the lava from the ground, and biggest spike in the tremors chart. But now, the activity seems to have dwindled and practically is non-existent anymore. We don't see any tremors due to this. The magma line and the tremors line practically are going down. The trend is downward. The magma is receding and the tremors have stopped for that region. What we are seeing is mostly related to the machinery working around there. The volcano's crater, this is the K1, has no evidence for any uh, glowing uh, lava or lava pool at the bottom of it. Just a tiny stream to the right you can see there. This volcano seems is over, it's finished. What we are seeing from the above is matching from what we see on the ground. And this is the 55 meter tall uh, and the lava tube and the cone of the volcano sadly sitting there and going to finish for now at least this is the last uh, episode of it when we trampled over the last lava flow by the bulldozer practically uh, you know cooling down the last remaining stream of the lava which invaded the sword sengi uh, geothermal power plant the map of it was interesting it crossed again over the k1 crater from the previous eruption this is the summary of the latest update by the Icelandic Meteorological Office. I have covered it for you, and I've covered more one. L1 is the wall that was invaded by the lava. The GPS data shows that the rise in the accumulation of the magma under the source thing is very slow compared to the other ones. The slope on the red one, which was the lowest one, was very shallow. It's not going to happen uh, very soon.